Hey guys, Allison here. Wanted to do your final training video with Mr. Sawyer. He has completed our master training program. I know you guys are coming to pick him up, but I like to do a video so you have something to look back at because I know you're going to be excited. He's going to be excited. So just want you to see all the commands that he knows and how to continue the training at home. I know you guys already have Finn, so you're well trained, you're well prepared, but I still want you to have one for Sawyer so that you know how to continue working with him once he comes home. As you obviously know, this is our place board. So this is what I have him on. I have him on place. You'll see that I'm clicking and rewarding him for staying here. We're just training Sawyer to stay in a place or a command that we ask of him. You gotta chew him up, buddy. Um, until we release him. So I'm just, every now and then I'm having a conversation, but I'm still clicking and, train, or clicking and rewarding him for doing the behavior that I've asked him to do. Now, any time that we release Sawyer from a command, which we want him to only stop doing something on our terms, we're gonna say, okay, we're just gonna tap the side of our leg. That means Sawyer's free to run around, do whatever Sawyer wants to do. Um, he can, you know, run off and play or anything. Right now, Sawyer's just trying to figure out what can I do to get my next treat? Because in case you can't tell by looking at Mr. Sawyer, he loves to eat. All right, so we're gonna go over our next command. So we got come. So we're gonna drop our hand like this. We're gonna say, Sawyer, come. The second that his nose touches my hand is when I'm gonna click. I can do it with food in my hand or I can do it without. We'll do it with food right here. So we've got, we'll trick him for a second. We're gonna go, Sawyer, come. Good, all right, now we're gonna, okay. We're gonna do it now with no food in our hands. So we're gonna have him run around, do whatever he wants. No food in our hands, same thing. We're gonna do Sawyer, come. Sit, good. So we always want Sawyer to go straight into the sit command, okay? And I'm gonna tap and release him, okay, so he's not staying in that sit command or he's not getting up unless I tell him to. So if we're come, like I said, we want to always make sure he touches our hand. We want the dog that comes all the way to us. Sawyer, come. Sit. No food in my hand. I clicked and marked those behaviors so that he knows that he did what he was supposed to and a reward is coming. So we don't always have to have uh, food in our hand, okay, for us to call him when he's when he to come. <laughs> Sawyer's trying so hard to figure out what I, what I want him to do. All right, now for sit, we're going to take our hand like a fist, and that is the hand signal for sit. So, Sawyer. Good boy, Sawyer. Now, Sawyer is to stay seated until he's released. So you'll see I'm marking this behavior pretty frequently just so uh, you guys will see in case he does start to get up that you need to start marking it just for the training. Uh, he knows with me, but I want you to see how to continue working. So I'm gonna keep marking it, saying, hey, you're a good boy, Sawyer. You're staying seated until I release you. Okay, and there we go again with our okay. All right, now for down, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna have him stay laying down until we release him. So we're gonna get him in the sit command. So we're gonna say, saw your sit. And we're gonna go down. Good. Now saw your is to stay laying down until he's released. For down, I just took my fingers and pointed down like this. If you're having a problem with getting him to lay down, what you'll do is when he's in the sit command, push it back towards his face. That makes him lay down. If you have any questions about that, let me know. He's really good at this, so you shouldn't have any problems. But you'll see that he has continued to lay down so that when we're at the park, we've got the dog on the leash. We don't have one that's running and pulling us away when we're carrying on a conversation. We've got the dog that's gonna lay right here while I talk to you guys or my friends or whoever. So we're gonna say, more reward is he's doing so good. We're gonna say, okay, so we're gonna let, let Sawyer loose. He can stay, he can do whatever he wants. All right, we're gonna go to crate. So for crate, I just say Sawyer crate. Walk over towards it, he gets in it, I click, I give him a reward. Stay. So Sawyer is to stay in this crate until I release him. So I'm gonna tell him stay. I'm gonna go back to him and click to reward him. Stay. So our stay is our stop sign, like this. Stay. Now if 
he were to get up, I would take him up. I clicked too soon. Back in there. For example, if he were to get up, I'm going to make him get back in there. And I'm going to go a shorter distance. So if you guys are having any problems with getting Sawyer to stay, what I recommend is we do short distance. So we'll go stay. Take a step back. Come right here. Stay. Take two steps back. Come right here. Okay. Because what we want to do is we want Sawyer to succeed. We don't want to keep asking him to do something and he's not doing it. We're getting frustrated. He's getting frustrated. So if at any point you see, okay, he's having a hard time doing this for us because he's so used to me. He's used to our other trainers, but he's got to get used to you guys too. So start out with small steps. Um, maybe ask him to go to place when right over on top of it. He knows with me when I say Sawyer place. It needs to go all the way over to his place. You guys are gonna have to show him where the place board is at your house. You're gonna have to walk all the way over to it and put him on it. Now Sawyer is to stay on this place until I release him. So we got the same thing. We're gonna say, stay. Now I can go a little bit further than probably you guys can at first, just till he gets used to working with you. Stay. Take him back. Place. Now he doesn't get rewarded for this. Stay. And I'm going to go back to a shorter distance. Stay. The reason for this is their attention span at this age is very short. Okay. So like I said, we want him to succeed. We want to do things that he's going to offer him for asking of him because he wants to please. That is what Sawyer wants to do. Um, rule of thumb, like I told you guys when you got Finn, is he can hold it for one hour per month of age. Typically at night, we don't offer any food two hours prior to bedtime. We don't offer any water one hour prior to bedtime. Uh, that just gives you a little bit more time and he can sleep a little bit longer through the night. Uh, one month per age, even at night, you can usually add an extra hour. He's doing really good with that. Um, a couple other things. I'm going to just run through the commands one more time just so you guys can see it. And I'm going to work with him with So I'm going to walk some pressure. There we go. We're going to drop food. Sit. There you go. Got to get up. Come on. Let's get away from where we dropped the piece of food. I know that's a distraction. Saw your crate. Crate. Good boy. And stay. So it's about time for him to increase those morning and afternoon feedings to a cup. Uh, he's a growing boy. He's a very big boy. He's super eager to please, super sweet. Uh, I think you guys are really going to love him. He gets along great with the other puppies. So I know he'll love Mr. Finn. That's a good boy. Let's get on our place so they can get one good look at you before, uh, before you head out. Because they'll be going back to this going, oh my gosh, remember how small he was? <laughs> Stay. Oh, 
All right, guys, we'll see y'all tomorrow. Good job.